A long time ago, there was a land so lovely, it was unlike any there ever was. And lived a young princess. As her mother had wished, her skin was as white as snow, and she had hair as black as ebony. Both lovely and pure of heart, she was named Snow White. Her father, the king, married again. Snow White now had a new mother and the land a new queen. can hold a candle to the beauty, the splendor, and the wonder that is you. My queen? Oh, how many times have I told you not to disturb me when I'm, uh, grooming? There's a whole tree just full of them. It's not special. Is it? Your hair is so beautiful. May I use your comb on my hair? No. You're already pretty enough. Now, go outside and uh, have fun, or whatever it is children do. Already pretty enough, that one. And so it went, year after year, Snow White doing her best to please her queen, until one day... Oh, 
is it? Hmm, it's true. You're even more beautiful than I was at your age. You flatter me, my queen. But everyone knows there is none more beautiful in the land than you. I'd like you to gather some rare mushrooms for me, the kind that can only be found in our forest. Begging your pardon, my queen, but the forest is a dangerous place to go alone. You called for me, your majesty. Yes, Huntsman. I would like you to accompany the princess into the forest. As you wish, my queen. Now, you run along and get a basket for the mushrooms. Dear sweet Snow White. Your axe has been honed recently? To raise a sharpness, my queen. Good! The princess will not return from the forest. Do you understand? No, better make that small friends in tight spaces. <laughs> Just follow me. Thank you. 
cleaned the dishes last week. And I swept the week before. And that's the last time anybody did any work in that pigsty we call a home. Well, I got the most diamonds out of the mine today. What does that have to do with anything? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to be part of the conversation. Oh, somebody's been here. Did they steal anything? No. In fact, it looks like they put everything away. What did he say? He said we should put you away. spared her life, and how she came to stay at their cottage. Well then, it's settled. You'll stay here with us. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. <laughs> I was just kidding. I just wanted to see if you were listening. And so it went. Each morning, Snow White saw the seven little men off to work. And each evening, she'd have their dinner waiting for them when they came home. Princess Snow White, who lives in the dwarf's cottage, is by far more fair. Ah! Find out where those seven little princess keepers live. Yes, my queen!
my hand. Tell me now who, who, who is the fairest in the land? Though you gasp and wheeze and plead anew, Snow White still lives and remains the fairest, not you. No! Remember, while we're gone, don't let anyone in! Not if they beg. Not if they plead. Unless it's the express delivery man, I'm expecting a package. Not even him, especially him. I don't know him, never met his family. I'll be all right. And you know, it would be just like that queen to try something sneaky. And I won't let anyone in. as if Snow White had fallen into a deep sleep, a sleep from which none of her friends could wake her. So the little men put her in a glass box on a hill near their cottage in hopes that one day, by some miracle, Snow White would wake up once again. And so they waited and waited and waited until 
until one day. Thank you. 